Hello everyone, welcome back. All glory be to God, we are together once again. I have an amazing encouragement that the Lord pressed on to me that I'm excited to share with you. Um, even though, I'm very excited, I apologize. Um, I hope you all are doing well and blessed. I do, I'm sorry. See, that's it, I'm so excited. I didn't uh, offer that small prayer. Um, I'm excited because the message that I have, even though it has an emergency definition, it's a call to prayer. It's an emergency call to prayer. Okay, so I want to get right to it. I don't want to take a whole lot of time, um, but it's beautiful. So I was given a message and a word. Okay. On Sunday, November 18th, 2018 I was just home you know doing my chores and I heard from the Holy Ghost in my soul brace brace and I thought okay thank you Lord I, I don't quite understand and I'm you know can you help me can you clear give me clarity you know what am I bracing for like what what I didn't understand so then he showed me an image, and it wasn't so much a vision. It was just like a definition, like a, an answer to my prayer. And I saw inside of an airplane. I could see down the aisle people sitting in their seat, and I could see two flight attendants with their hand on the overhead compartment and saying at the same time, facing the uh, passengers, brace, brace. And I said, oh, okay, thank you, Lord. So now I understand. This is like in an emergency situation. Brace, brace. And I said, and I prayed over it and I said, thank you. And I said, can you please give me some sort of confirmation it's from you? And, um, you know, thank you. And, you know, going into prayer. But I didn't really write it down. <laughs> I was busy. It was a busy day. And I just, you know, I sent it up. Um, to the Lord immediately, and, but I didn't make note of it. Okay, so I went on with my day Sunday. Monday comes, and I'm still kind of, it's still kind of floating in my heart, like a kind of a, a standing prayer. And um, I was driving home from my errands, and I was like, oh yeah, what was that word that the Lord gave me? And I'm thinking, and I couldn't remember. And I said, oh, it's a B can't remember and as I'm trying to remember I heard a different word I heard it loud basta and I was like basta what, what what's that and I was like huh that's that's interesting you know basta I didn't even know what it meant I, I knew it was from another um, country but I wasn't even really sure uh, it's, it didn't sound um, like a word I knew. I, I almost guessing that it was Italian, but I wasn't quite sure. And I said, no, not basta. <laughs> I said, thank you, Lord. But that's not the word you gave me yesterday. And I'm trying to think and trying to think. And I remembered. Brace. I said, oh, yeah, brace, brace. And so I'm thinking in my mind how I wanted to share it with you. And I was thanking him. You know, okay, this is, uh, he reminded me, and this must be from him. And I, I took it as a confirmation that he was, you know, or he was talking to me and letting me know. But this Basta was really interesting. And I didn't, you know, I, I was actually driving. So I, you know, I didn't, couldn't get to the resources to find out even what Basta meant. And as I was exiting the freeway, I saw someone's uh, license plate, and it said, Cowboy Up. Similar to this. Uh, not a Texas plate, but it said, Cowboy Up. And I kind of giggled, and I thought, okay. <laughs> the, the Lord has a good sense of humor. If you have a relationship with the Lord, and if you have this kind of relationship with the Lord, um, you'll see he actually has a very good sense of humor. And so for him to say kind of cowboy up to me, um, or to show me cowboy up, was kind of telling me, like, get it together, man. <laughs> like, you know, uh, uh, cowboy up is kind of like a way of saying, like, pull yourself up by your bootstraps and get it together. You know, pull yourself up and, and, and get moving. Like, you know. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I was like, okay, you know, thank you, Lord. I, I get it. You know, I need to pull myself to get myself together. So I'm giggling about this and driving, and I see another license plate, and it said, guarantee. I actually couldn't find a license plate online that said guarantee, but it was G A R E N T E. And I was like, guarantee. And I thought, that's why the definition I kind of um, understood was like a, like a promise, you know, and I have a better definition for you, but I'm thinking, Oh wow. Okay. So he's guaranteeing that this is from him and I need to get myself together and, um, and, uh, you know, brace, brace, get this message out to you all about brace, brace. But then there was that Basta, which I needed the definition. I wasn't, I was almost thinking Basta was like, um, like hurry up. Like, cause that was like the brace, brace, like, you know, move quickly or get it done. But I wasn't sure. So once I got home, I'll show you all the definition. But once I got home, I started looking things up and it is beautiful. I looked up guarantee. Now this is amazing. This is God. This was the confirmation I was looking for um, from the Lord. It's, it's moving. It's so cool. Okay, so I was asking for confirmation, and he showed me the cowboy up, which was like, get it together, and then guarantee. And actually, you see, the phonetically, the way you would write it, the way you hear it, is G E R E N T E, but the license plate was G A R E N T E. So I thought that was um, amazing that it was so close. Okay, so number one, a formal promise or assurance, typically in writing, that's important, that certain conditions will be fulfilled, especially that a product will be repaired or replaced, if not of a specified quality and durability Two, law that's also important a formal pledge to pay another person's debt or to perform another person's obligation in the case of default isn't that amazing that's the license plate I saw that was the message that was the confirmation that was God saying it's guaranteed so what I did was, this sounded to me biblical, and this sounded like Jesus paying the price on the cross. So that's what I put in for my definition. I said, um, Bible, I, I typed in in my search engine, Bible, Jesus paid the price on the cross. And this is what the, the internet gave me. Now, this is the King James Version of Galatians 3, uh, 13 through 15. So I wanted to give you the King James Version because there's a lot of us who read from the King James Bible. But the definition that I received was actually from a different um, definition. It's from a Bible called God's Word. Now, please forgive me. This is the same as, this is just another way um, someone made a definition of this King James Version that's a little easier to understand. So I wanted to show you this version and then I'll show you the other. So please um, don't beat me up too much. I just want everyone to understand what God's trying to tell us. Okay, so you saw the definition of guarantee written, um, the law, and to um, uh, doing doing this obligation for someone else, for another person. Okay, Galatians three thirteen through fifteen, God's Word translation. Christ paid the price to free us from the curse that the laws in Moses teachings bring by becoming the cursed instead of us instead scripture says everyone who is hung on a tree is cursed or they're in their sin Christ paid the price so that the blessing promise to Abraham would be 
would come to all the people of the world through Jesus Christ, and we will we we would receive the promised spirit through faith. So what this is saying is Jesus paid the price, the obligation for us. Let's go back to guarantee. A formal promise or assurance, typically in writing, the Bible, right? That a certain conditions will be fulfilled. The price has been paid. Jesus fulfilled that promise. Especially that the pro the product would be replaced, or excuse me, repaired or replaced. He replaced us if not of a specified quality or durability, he with he with endured for us instead of us. That wasn't us hanging on the cross. He took our place. He took our sin. The world's sin replaced us and endured durability for us. Amazing, right? This is from a license plate. Ooh, okay, sorry. God is so good. Um, two, the law. That's what it said in um, Galatians. The law. A formal pledge to pay another person's debt. Right there. Jesus paid the debt for us. He performed another person's obligation in the case of default we would have defaulted we would have sinned we are we are sinners we are sinners from go every one of us me you all of us that's the default but another person jesus christ stepped in and met that obligation for us on the cross it's paid Isn't that beautiful so not to hammer this nail anymore it's beautiful it's it's the gift it's the promise a formal promise Jesus died for our sins he took on the sins he is the sacrificial lamb he is blood was spilt so yours wouldn't have to be. That's all. That's all this is saying. It's already paid. And that Basta, I do believe that was the Lord saying, He's had enough. I might be reading into it. But the word is enough. And I, I heard and I felt Basta. Like an explanation point. Like Basta. Enough. He's, I believe the Lord is saying, He's had enough. Uh, in whatever respect you think, he's trying to get across. Okay. Um, yeah. I, 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 like I said, I, I don't want to take too much more of your time. But I thought this was beautiful. The Lord is guaranteeing. It's already guaranteed. It's already paid. And that we need to cowboy up. We need to pull ourselves up and get it together. Because the time is now. The time is now to brace, brace. Jesus is coming soon, y'all. God loves us so much, and he just wants us to prepare ourselves. To brace ourselves in the Bible. Brace ourselves in his word. Brace ourselves in prayer. Watch and pray. To be found aware and awake and not found wanting. That's all. Be aware and awake to, to believe in the promise, the guarantee that's already done, the sacrifice of his son. To know God's love. He loves us this much. He wants you to step out of the world, out of your sin. 
and embrace him. Seek him first. Give him the glory. Give God the glory. Because he is worthy to rejoice and give praise. Because God is good every day. Okay, it's getting long. I love you all. And God loves you so much more. Please take care. And may God bless and keep you all. I thank God for every one of you. And I pray to see you all in the air very soon. Until then, we'll talk soon. Bye for now.